Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Love Inspired Tags. It is a fairly new channel, and I'm excited to start it. It has been a while since I last uploaded a video. I apologize for that. It's probably been a month, <laughs> but as you know, if you watched my prior videos, I did close down my boutique storefront and I am now going this route. I'm selling on eBay and Poshmark. I've been selling on eBay for a while now, but I became more serious about a few months ago and Poshmark, I have probably been selling, um, probably, you know, about same thing i became serious when i became serious with ebay i switched over to poshmark as well to give it a go because i love clothing i love shoes i love purses and poshmark seemed like the best platform for me so i guess in this last month since closing my store it hasn't been a full month yet uh, probably more like three almost four weeks and I've been kind of trying to get my bearings and figure out my balance. And I thought when I closed the store, I would spend more time sourcing, but that has not, um, I mean, I've spent a lot more time sourcing than before, but it has not been uh, the case because I love going to the bins and the bins are about 35 minutes away from me. And it doesn't seem like that long, but to go every day. So the bins are about 35 minutes away from me and it doesn't seem like that long, but to go out there on top of, you know, um, bringing my kids to school and stuff. And, and um, one of my kids, they go out of district. So on top of that, it's just too much to go out to the bins um, every single day. So I have decided, you know, over the last three weeks, I have decided, um, Sundays definitely. That's another issue is that I can't get out to the bins until they open on, on the only day I can do that is Sunday. So um, during the week I can't get there by nine. They open at nine and I can't get there by nine and I've tried to go anyways. And the problem is is when you do clothes they don't really turn them over. Like they don't bring out a lot of clothes. Uh, I think I've been there once and all the times that I've been there, one time they've brought out new, like new clothes. So basically getting there an hour after opening when I can get there, it's, it's just, it's already picked over really. So it does me no good to go all the way out there. And so Sunday is basically, um, the, the main day that I go. Saturdays I can go, but I do garage sales, so I only go if it's raining, and that's only happened once, which is great. It's a great alternative to have when I can't go garage selling, which is a bummer always if it's raining, but um, so I end up at the bins. So definitely Sundays. So last Sunday, I basically decided this. I thought this is going to be my best day to source, so I'm going to... I'm just gonna grab everything that I think is good. I'm not even gonna really look it over until I'm done and until I'm done picking, going through it all. Cause usually I'll go there and I'll look at it and I'm like, hmm, and I'll put it in, I'll put it in. And, but this time I just grabbed things and I thought, oh, this is good, this is good. And without even looking, I just started grabbing everything um, on Sunday. And I ended up with about 17 pounds of clothes and like shoes and stuff so I don't even know what I got because this was Sunday and today is Wednesday and I'm just now getting this out of my car to go through I have been waiting to do a video before I go through it and all that kind of stuff or you know um, get it ready for posting so yeah so here I am I'm finally getting to it. I'm going to go through it. Some stuff might still have like Goodwill tags. I don't know. Some stuff I might find has defects. Now I go through everything really good before I come home, but the lighting in Goodwill is just terrible. I don't really, and even then I don't see anything until I can get it under my ring light. And then that's when I find, you know, if it has defects or anything like that. So are you guys ready to begin? After all of that, <laughs> Let's begin. Okay, so again, 17 pounds of clothes. Um, I spent about 50 bucks. I spent 50 
$52, I believe, $54. Um, a dollar of that was cookies because I get hungry <laughs> when I'm out there sourcing. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with the clothes first. Let's see what I got now. Remember, I am fairly new, so I'm getting things that... Um, Probably maybe some of you guys wouldn't pick up if you're if you're seasoned um, but I do I do check comps on things that I'm not familiar with and if I'm not um, if I'm happy with it then I pick it up I mean I, I'm, I'm shopping at the bins my bins do a dollar forty nine um, per pound for clothing so all right so the first one I got here again it has the tag. But this is an Ann Taylor, if I remember right. It's an Ann Taylor, just like a khaki colored skirt. Let me turn up my light a little bit. Maybe you guys can see. So it's a khaki colored skirt. I thought it was really cute. Um, it is stretchy. It is a size zero though. So, I mean, it might sit for a while. But a little pencil skirt, Ann Taylor. Next up, I got, now this is interesting to me. I looked this up. I've never heard of it, but I looked it up and I don't know, the comp looked okay. So it's called Rachel Kate and you guys might know more about this stuff than I do, but it looks like a, a nice little dress, like a little, uh, kind of like a chevron dress. Um, it has like a silky feeling material. It is probably polyester though, but we will check. And the tag's gone, but okay, so we don't know. And I actually don't know the size, so yay me. I will have to guess this, but it is a Rachel Kate dress. It's got little bell sleeves, so super cute. Uh, let's see what else. Okay. Um, I've got, what is this? So this is a Max Studio size small dress with a, like a cinched waist. Has elastic waist right there. Just a, oh, it is not elastic. There is no stretch there. It looks like it could be stretchy, but it is not. So again, it is a Max Studio small, beautiful blue and white dress now these um so i have a guy that i met at the bins and he is also a reseller but he resells on ebay he told me um to be careful for swim shorts and swimsuits because people probably you know they are just kind of leery but i thought these were really cute and they were in great condition and they are basically a men's <clears throat> 2XL chaps swim shorts. And it's got the liner in there. And it looks clean. They look practically like barely used. They're a little short, but maybe men like them short, you know. So I thought they were cute. It has a little tie. So yeah, super cute. I was happy for those. They might not sell. I don't know, but I liked them, so I got them. <laughs> All right, so this one is a Bijou Bijou. Uh, it is a red, and it would appear to be like a black, I would say black, red and black print. Very sheer, so it'd be cute with a cami under it. It is a size small. Size small. And I would wear it probably, I don't know, I mean, you could wear it as a dress, but I would wear it as a top. So, super cute. It has a little split there in the sleeve. Alright. So, these I wasn't sure about. They're jag pants. Um, or they're jag capris, rather. Just a pair of black jag capris. I don't know. I looked them up. I've never heard of them, but it, the comps didn't look bad. So I got them. 
This one is a Gypsies and a Moon Dust. Gypsies and Moon Dust, kind of like a loose pant, floral print, wide leg there. I thought it was cute. They're size medium. So I figured someone might like those. Nice casual dressy pants, comfy. This one is a Charlotte Russe medium. And I don't know, sometimes I don't really care for picking up Charlotte Russe, but I do have some in my closet. And this, oh, this one is the, um, like the little romper. So they're shorts, a pineapple romper. How cute is that? And these right here, these holes are see-through. Super cute. I mean, really. So, and it zips up in the back. Okay, next up we have Loft. Now, Loft sells pretty good for me. I don't know if it sells for everybody, but I have sold several pieces of Loft. This is just a sleeveless tank, lace, um, like a crochet. Crocheted lace top. Probably be good to use as like a shell over a jacket. It would be really, really beautiful. And it is like a, it is like a, a blue, a blue. This is another Charlotte Russe. I don't know. I like the material. It was nice and thick. Charlotte Russe small. It has a little dress, has little cutouts here. I thought it was really cute. I love I love the, um, gosh, what am I thinking of? It's like the watercolor art. Like, I really love that. Okay. Next up, we have, um, this is a Maurice, I believe, Maurice's. I thought it was really pretty, really feminine. Look at that. Um, I know it's winter, but I don't care. I mean, I live in the South, so... I would wear this because it's still kind of warm. Uh, it's got like this caged back here, buttons in the front. They are functional buttons. Really, really cute. And that one is a medium. Again, if you see anything you like or just want to check out my closet, I am um, on Poshmark as a love inspired tag with no S because there wasn't enough room. And if you want to check me out on eBay, which I don't have as much stuff over there, but I do have some stuff, and that is um, Love Inspired Tags. Okay, so next up, uh, this is MSPP, Mac Studio Specialty Products. It is kind of like a pleather dress. When I was looking at this, I had a woman actually point this out to me, and she was like, how weird is this? Like, this is so weird. And it's a size medium. And I was like, I like weird things, you know? I mean, how cute is this, right? So, again, it's like that pleather. I'll tell you it is. Um, so, it's 100% it's polyurethane, urethane, I believe is how you pronounce it. 100% vicos, vicos, and the lining is 100% polyester, so definitely nothing genuine or leather about this. It is fake, but it is fantastic. It is so cute, and it's kind of like a bone color. All right, okay, so this one I got, even though I don't know if I'm going to sell it yet, because I have to clean it up, but I will show you really quick. It is a Nautica jacket. Nautica and it's green. It's like a windbreaker. It is kind of dirty. So I'm going to do my best to rescue this piece because this jacket is really nice. All right. So, you know, going against the guy at the bins, his advice and not getting swimsuits. I just, and also my own because it is exhilaration and I probably... I would have passed it up, but it's a size D slash double D and it's in really good shape and I thought it was so cute. So I got it. I mean, you know, and I figure if, if I don't sell it, I would wear it because it's just a top. It's just a top. Super cute. 
All right, next up, this is um, Rampage, which I don't know if this is all the rage, but when I was younger, it was a good brand. It's a beautiful, like, chiffon kind of floral skirt. It does have a liner underneath it, a white liner, and it appears to be in really good condition. Zipper on the side, it works, and... Um, So Rampage closing, again, size zero, might take a while to sell. I don't know, but I think it's really, really pretty. So if you're small, that is beautiful, especially for Easter. Okay, so next up we have uh, Monto. Monto. Never heard of this brand, don't know what it is. Los Angeles, it says medium. It is again a crocheted lace. It is a dress, a really, really pretty dress. So um, I would like to think that I looked up comps on it, but if not, I mean, it. I could have just went on the fact that I thought it was really super cute. It zips in the back like so and yeah. So again, that is a size medium. It is like a navy and a, like a, oh, what is that color? I don't even want to say brown. It's like a grayish brown type color. All right, next up we have Daniel Rain. Again, this is a brand I am not familiar with, but I probably looked it up and liked it. So floral, it has the crocheted lace. Um, you can you can button it or roll and button or keep it down. Um, there is the back. It has the crocheted lace. A very pretty top. Okay, these, again, I got a lot of stuff that I just am not familiar with, but, you know. This is called Ashley Mason, and I don't know if they're any good, but I thought... These were super cool jeans. I mean, they're like acid washed. So, and I thought it was really like they got a little detail here. And I thought, well, I don't know. They look to be pretty great quality jeans. And somebody's watching it being like, I know what that is, but here I am. The button says A over M. So I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, super cute. And these are size 11. So if you need some acid, acid wash jeans. Next up we have TSCC, which again, never heard of. I just thought, hey, this is cute. I'm going to roll with it. And uh, it is a size six, I believe. Yep, size six. Really pretty sheer top would be cute with a little cami under it. Next up, we have a I love H8. I love H8. I love hate. I love H81. I don't know. It is a size medium. I thought, you know, I don't even think I looked this one up. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if I looked that one up, but it was cute. Cute little sleeveless dress, has a little peak hole in the back. Again, there's the tag. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see. And it, zip, it zips down the side here, right there. So it zips, yep. Okay. Next up we have, this is like stuff that I forget about. I don't even know. Like I got this. So this is a nine West size large, cute black and white little skirt. Um, nine West does pretty okay for me too. I have sold some nine West stuff. Um, this is kind of like a midi skirt. It goes below my knees. I am five, six. So it's a really nice skirt. All right. Next up. We have a Japna, which again, never heard of this brand. Um, I think the comps were okay on it. 
I thought it was cool. It zips in the back. Kind of goes a little bit lower in the back than the front. Not by much, though. And it is a, probably goes to your knees, dress. Got a big stack of clothes. Okay, guys, this is a two Roy, and it is a golf shirt. And I don't know, I thought it was a really good shape, and it's a golf shirt. And I'm thinking I can sell it, so. But nothing really special about that one. Other than it's pretty, if you're a golfer and you're, yeah. So next up is H&M. H&M, just cute little casual dress. Um, it has a drawstring. It is navy blue and white. So, and it is a size extra small. Extra small. Now we're going to my next bag. Woo! So, I still have clothes, so hang tight. All right, so next up we have a Laura Scott, size 12. Probably not, you know, a high sought after brand. I don't know, I've never sold it, but we are gonna find out. Just a cute little skirt for church or work. Um, again, that was size 12. Uh, I have a thing for palm leaves. This is Margaret M medium, and I thought it was really pretty. Um, a little above the knee skirt, and with the palm leaves, really, really pretty. I love that one. I'm so excited to list some of this stuff because I know it's gonna look fantastic. Okay, so next up, it's called Timing. Hmm, I don't know, but it's a little dress, love it. Uh, and it has, that's the back, so peekaboo. <laughs> and it's timing and is a size large, size large. No idea, oh, and it's got little pockets here, little zipper pockets, really cute. Running out of space on my table. Okay, so I don't know, like, so I got, sometimes I just like let things slide through. And then I get to my car and I'm putting stuff in there and I'm like, why did I get this one? I don't know. So this is clothes, C-L-O-T-H-E-S. It is spelled out and it is a red sweater and it has like gold in there too and black threads and I don't know. Um, but I thought it was quite nice for like winter and it would match my shirt, y'all. So a nice little sweater for, um, for like fall and Christmas, right? So that's why it ended up in my pile and it is a size 2X, 2X. Ooh. All right, next up we have a Gap Hadley, a pair of Bermuda shorts, it looks like, or um, almost Bermuda. Uh, they're not quite long, but they're close enough. And they are a size four, just a green pair of nice Gap short. I'm gonna start putting it behind me. Next up, we have a Denizen Levi's. So black shorts. Again, a little bit longer. Um, got some kind of plastic thing here I'm going to have to look at. I don't know what's happening there. Um, but yeah, they they actually look like they've never been worn. Like, look at the, the rolls. I mean, it looks perfect. So, and these are a size... Let me show you. There's the Denizen Levi's. And I'm sorry if it's backwards. I did not think to flip my camera. And it is size 30. Okay, size 30. Uh, next up is a really pretty blue New York and Company dress with a liner underneath it. 
I'm not sure if this brand really sells well, but you know, I'm sure at the right price it will sell. So, and it is a size 12. Boom. <sighs> okay, so I got a pair of Nike shorts. Um, again, I asked, I asked that guy there that I know, so Nike, um, they look really good, like in really good condition. It's size small, um, in the back. I asked him if I should get these, so it's not really like I like women's clothing and that, but he was like, definitely get those. So I got them. Um, can I say it's got like this weird thing there? Um, so size small. And I got this button up top. It is an LL Bean. Just cute blue and white polka dots. And it is a size medium. Size medium. Next up, we have Kenzie. Kenzie Pretty, size large. Not familiar with this brand. I thought the dress was beautiful. Has a side zipper, has adjustable straps. So, I mean. Doo -doo -doo. And I got, this is a, a Desire. Desire large black and white dress. As you can see, guys, I just love dresses. I don't know. And they're hard to sell, but I'm just drawn to them. I think that they're so pretty. I don't wear a lot of dresses myself, but I, I somehow have this weird obsession with dresses. But look, it has like a high-low and it has a liner underneath it. So... And the good news is, I guess if I have anywhere that I need to wear a dress to, I'm pretty much covered because I got all these dresses. All right. And oddly enough, I found a pair of gloves, which I'm not going to sell. But I found a pair of gloves there and I thought, because mm. I'm one of those people, I don't wear gloves at the bins. And now I got a pair of gloves. It was very convenient. And they are great condition. Great condition. So, this is what I'll be wearing next time I go. They fit me perfect. Alright. I don't know. I'm just not... I'll probably forget them and I won't bring them. And yeah, I am kind of a germaphobe, but... Not really, if that makes sense. So, all right. Then I got this bag. This is a Marina Galanti bag. Comps looked good on it. Now, clothes are, um, I just had a text come up. I don't know what that was. So it's the inside and it's, Kind of like um, a metallic, I think it's like gold. Um, down here is metallic, up here it's just like brown. And uh, so clothes, I don't really, um, here's the bottom, really great condition. Like I'm not as picky for clothes, I am, but I'm not. But for purses, I am because you pay more for purses at the bins, at my bins. These are not per weight. So I kind of try to make sure that it's really going to be worth it for me if I get them. But this is a really nice bag. The comps seem decent. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, next up. Okay, so this one I saw and it was in really good condition. But I thought, mm, I don't think it's going to be worth much because... It just didn't seem like it would be. Um, but I personally liked it. 
So I thought, worst case scenario, I'm buying it for myself. And it's really big, like it's really nice size. And it zips, which I'm a big fan of. And it has the big strap if you want to do the crossbody, or you can carry it like this. But I did see right here it has, um, I can't remember what it says. It says, gosh, it says A2, I think, A-2, or K-2. And, I mean, honestly, to me, that sounded like just, the, you know, has a back zipper. But I looked it up and actually I think I could sell this for a decent price. So I don't know. I may keep it and may sell it. This one I was going to put back. But I'll just sell it. For, um... So it has this on it. And I want to say that's like the sack thing. I could be wrong. I even asked the guy that, I, you know, the guy at the Benz that I know there. He doesn't think it's the SAC logo. So I don't know what logo that is. If you could help me out. Um, but it's a little makeup bag and it's pretty clean. Really clean. And, um, I mean, it's kind of like a trippy. So basically there is a print underneath and then there's like a fabric covering over it and it gives it like this kind of blurred look. I don't know. I thought it was cool. I thought it was a cute makeup bag and I thought, you know, I could sell it for who knows. Not that much, but that somebody might like it. So I got it. So basically the clothes are the only thing really that you pay $1.49 a pound for. Everything else you pay more for. So I paid more for these. Um, but they're Mia shoes. They're like little gladiator shoes and they were in really good condition. I mean, obviously they're used, but I mean, they're in really good condition. They zip on the back and they're size seven. So super cute. I personally like Mia. Um, it was a brand that I favored years ago. I don't know if it's a still known and loved brand but I personally like the brand so okay these I found these are Teos I don't know if I'm saying that right um but I looked up the comps and these and the comps were really good and these actually okay so I don't know where I left off my um emergency alert thing went off on my phone so it cut off my video <clears throat> but these are the um Excuse me. These are the Teos. Uh, I could say that. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But they retail for a lot of money and they're in really good condition. So I picked them up. They do look like, like a comfort shoe. Um, but they are really cute. You know, green. I love that color green. And they are a size 9, I want to say. That's what it looks like, a size 9. 9. It says 9 to 9 and a half. I don't know if you can see that, but nine, nine and a half or a Euro 40. So these are really good. I'm glad I found these. The bins last Sunday weren't, weren't that bad for me. I have, um, it's been a while since I, since I, um, have had a pretty decent day at the bins and it might be because I've been really, really picky. But um, last Sunday, obviously, I actually spent more money last Sunday than I have. Um, like in one visit, I spent more money. I spent $50, so that's the most I've spent so far going to the bins. So this one is called Antelope. And again, the comps on these looked really good. These were pretty decent looking shoes. They look to be in really good condition. So I got them. And they are, let me see if I can get a size, size 37. So I will have to figure out what that is because I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so Antelope. Uh, super cute platform. Sandal shoes. These I was really torn about. I almost put them back. 
Um, these are Saks Fifth Avenue. I just wasn't sure. Now it has a leather sole, so I think just the quality of them made me want to get them. But here they are. They're yellow. They're Saks Fifth Avenue, if you can see that in there. Right there. There are the soles. Pretty nice, pretty decent condition. And they're size nine. Um, I mean, it does have a little bit of wear around the corner up here, but I mean, overall, these are in pretty decent condition. Oh, 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 oh. So I was going to put them back because right here, it's like it lifted, like this overlay kind of peeled a little bit. And so I was going to put them back because I'm a little bit picky, but... <sighs> I thought they were just really good, good shoes. So I got them. Okay. We're almost done. I used to know how long of a video this was going to be, but now I don't. This is my video. Okay, so this is Montego Bay Club Leather Collection. I don't know really like what I'm going to get for these, but they were in really good condition. They're eight and a half. They are um, genuine leather, so I mean, I was like, okay, I'll get them and see what happens. So these, also I was going to put these back, but I didn't. These are Crocs loafers, pretty good condition. I mean, I can, um, I'm going to run them through the washer before I list them, but I mean, they are really, really good condition. And I don't, I know the regular, like the, those Crocs, um, the usual Crocs, you know, the, like the hard ones, um, sell good. I don't know if the Crocs loafers sell good. But I got them, so to find out. I mean, you don't know unless you find out, so. And then for our last pair of shoes, <sighs> guys, I don't know if I should have got these. They're in okay condition, but they're Patagonia's. I have never um, found Patagonias before, so, and I hope I'm saying that right, but um, I picked them up. You know, the guy that, my friend at the Benz, he was like, ah, uh, you need to get those. So I got them. They're just flats. They're, um, they need to be cleaned up, so I'm going to clean them up, and they are size, I want 10. So, and they look, they look like women's to me. So they're a pretty big the shoe. Sorry if you're a size 10. I don't know many women who are size 10 shoes. So, um, but I was trying to see if they have. So it says Maha Breathe Sable Brown. So I will look these up. I will look these up and see, but pretty cool find. So those are all of my shoes that I got on Sunday. And also, as I'm picking these up, I will let you guys know that I did purchase a, a Thread Up Rescue Box. Um, what was it, last week? So hopefully I'll get that soon. I got the 100 item one. So go big or go home. Um, it's a mixed item one. So I don't know what I'm going to get. I've been watching videos and like I got mixed sizes. So I have a feeling I'm probably going to get a lot of small ones because that's what I've seen. But on um, mixed size boxes, we'll see. Okay, so this is a fossil belt. Um, fossil, the comps on fossil is pretty good. It does have, 
a little bit of wear right here. So obviously, I mean, I'm going to price it right. Um, it is genuine leather. So it is a nice quality belt. And I couldn't leave it at the bins. So I'm going to list it and sell it. And I got this Yahtzee. Now, this will go on my eBay. This won't go on um, Poshmark. But I got this Yahtzee Nightmare for Christmas. Thought it was cool. The comps weren't bad. So, I mean, they weren't, like, amazing. But they were. So, I got these dolls. I'm, like, I almost need to... Like, I have to be very careful because I'm drawn to, like, weird things and I'm drawn to to dolls. I always think they should be worth more than they are. But I found these guys. I found, I found this guy first. Yes. I found this guy first. And he's got real eyelashes. And he's, like, a little, like, he's got little gypsy shoes or whatever you want to call these. And he's got, like, this cool little metallic purple shirt um and the overalls with the little studs anyways i mean look at him he's kind of scary right it's almost like a little elf so i found him and then i found an elf one now he does not have he does not have real eyelashes and i don't think he's quite as creepy as this guy but how cool are these little guys I mean I don't know if this guy's an elf he kind of looks like it they have the same ears now the only identifying mark that I see is it says MD back here and 93 on both of them and I mean they're probably not worth really anything but I couldn't pass them up and I will list these probably on um, eBay once I figure out a price. I just realized down here it says R for his right foot and L for his left foot. I don't know if you can see those. But, oh, this guy right here does have a little hole like in his, mm -mm, in his area. So, but that's okay. Um, I will make it work. I'm sure somebody out there will think these are as amazing as I do, or maybe, who knows, maybe they're rare, but they will be listed on my eBay as soon as I get around to it. If you're interested, that's the end of, that's the end of my haul. So if you're interested in any of these, you can reach out to me. My email is loveinspiredtags at gmail.com, or you can go to any one of my um, selling platforms, which is on eBay and Poshmark. On eBay, I am Love Inspired Tags with an S, and on Poshmark, I am Love Inspired Tag because without an S, because they didn't. Again, they didn't have room for an S. So yeah, if you have any questions or want to reach out to me or want to tell me that my haul sucked and I need to do better or tell me that you're doing okay or you're doing great or good luck, all that stuff. That's how you reach me. You can reach me through my email account. Um, I'm, or you can just comment below. That works too, right? That works for me. I don't care. So leave me a comment. Leave me a message. Like and subscribe. I'm going to have more stuff, more videos coming out. I promise I will get better at this. Um, again, um, I'll probably have more. I don't know how long it's going to take ThreadUp to send me the box so i'll probably have more goodwill bin hauls um, until then but look out for that video it's 100 items i don't know if i'm gonna break it up yet it's gonna be a long video but i will figure it out so if you think i should break it up let me know below if you think i should do 100 go big go home on one video let me know too i uh, will talk to you guys later i hope you guys have a great week i hope you guys have lots of sales and i will see you guys soon bye guys bye